Start off simple. Just how was your off season? Pretty normal. Yeah. Yeah. At home with the family. Um, we did we did a little trip up to New York and, and uh, Delaware to see my wife's family. And we went to Charleston for a couple of days to see my dad. And uh, other than that, we were here. And how are you feeling physically coming into spring training? I feel good. Yeah, I mean, it was a it was a good off season. Um, you know, started throwing right around when I normally would and working out. And, um, so yeah, it's good to get back in the building. Does it feel any different? This is your 16th year in the league, your 16th spring training. I mean, does it feel any different or any? I don't know. You not take it for granted or know your routine? Oh yeah. Um, no, I mean, I definitely think that. Somewhere you got here at 7 a.m. I've taken things for granted. I think, though, I've also appreciated things along the way. I mean, I, I think as a human, I just, you know, just kind of rolled with it. I mean, over over that span of time, I think you're you're going to, you know, dive too deep. You're gonna um, maybe not dive enough, um, and just. And try to roll with it and, and learn as you go. What's something that you know in year 16 that you you know didn't know in year one and, and just? Uh, I don't know. There's probably like a hierarchy on list of that because there's there are a few things I think that you know, I wish I had known, and there's a few things that I I'm glad that I had to pay to learn, and you know I I mean I really I guess that. That you're you're good enough. Like you're gonna be. Everything's gonna be all right. But I think that took me a while, and it took me getting kind of lucky that I, I was given some opportunities that other guys may not have been afforded at the time um, because of the situation I was in. I was traded over to Pittsburgh. Uh, didn't pitch well with Pittsburgh, but they still, you know, Neil Huntington still gave me a chance. The guys over there gave me a chance. So, and then over time, you know, just. You know, like like anybody else in any profession, you know you, you learn you learn a lot if you if you do it long enough. How do you look at this uh, this pitching group? I mean, just looking down these six lockers right here, you got you know so you run up, you got yourself in stuff. But you got a twenty game winner. You, you got competition between really good. Guys. I mean, how, how do you look at this group? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm I'm just happy to see the guys. To be honest with you, like uh, that's kind of. Um, that's kind of the theme here, I think, was that the, the clubhouse here is great. Mm -hmm. And it's a it's an environment that guys can thrive in. And, um, and I think that Alex, that's what Alex has prioritized, is making sure that this room is full of people that are that are just good dudes and that care about each other. And then, you know, I mean, it, it's always exciting to watch, you know, younger guys pitch, guys that are super talented pitch. Um, but right now, I mean, day one, I think that it's, it's good to get here and just see everybody kind of start to to gather and get in a little bit of a routine together because this is the most exciting time of the year when it when it comes to you know bonding and, and building a, a squad together. So um, really, just you know, I, I like I said, like the, the talent is not that's been there. Mm -hmm. You know, it's been you know, some of the teams I've been fortunate enough to play for, and re especially recently, I mean the the, the the arms and the staff have been pretty awesome, and this is no different. So, but really, uh, yeah, just to see the guys again. One of the big changes for you guys this year is you know, pitch clock, uh, the the pickoffs or the disruptions, whatever the word is. Mm -hmm. How do you prepare for that during spring training? Is it something you work on? Like, are we going to see clocks in the eight pack with a, a countdown? Like, how do you guys get ready for that? Yeah, they had them out there the other day. Okay. What a guy. <laughs> They had them out there the other day, no, the 15 second, okay. you know, and um, I think w I didn't I didn't run it because I was more focused on just kind of just getting a little bit of rhythm on the on the mound and you know throwing, mm -hmm. and not really trying to worry about that too much. And also, I really just wanted to know where I was anyway without the clock, um, and the numbers that I saw fell below the 15 second and the 20 second, you know, for. Uh, for no one on. Um, I think, I, so I don't think it'll be a problem with nobody on. I think, though, with men on, mm -hmm. because you want to have some kind of variance with your timing and, and uh, when guys are on first and, you know, trying to take a lead, and 
steal second, you're gonna there's gonna have to be some kind of manipulation. You know, maybe like you get on the rubber a little bit quicker, you come set a little bit quicker, so you can alter your holds and stuff like that. But my, in terms of just normal timing for me, I'm okay where I'm at. Is that gonna be? something you kind of experiment with during spring, how it feels, how it looks, getting on the rubber quicker, things like that once games get started, because they get started next weekend. Yeah, well, it's, I mean, it's, it's a challenge. Um, I mean, naturally, it's a challenge to get on the mound, especially when someone's on first. They're threatening to steal. Your tempo speeds up. You get, uh, you have, there's a propensity to try to get going because you still want to you know exert yourself and you still want to be aggressive but you also have to rein yourself in because you have to control your timing and the timing of the runner so that's something you don't want to wait until the first week of the season to do how valuable is it for you and just as pitching staff to really kind of have a, a normal spring training it feels like the past mm -hmm. couple of years between covid and also the lockout that things were shortened how, how will that yeah. help you guys i mean I don't know, because I feel like, for me, the the effects from the COVID season, like, they still lingered for a little while, um, and it wasn't like it wasn't just baseball related. I think it was just kind of such a such a strange time. Um, so like to get in there in 21, you know, we were everyone was still wearing masks, and you know, it, it was just socially it was a difficult time to try to to try to just do anything. It's true for everybody, like, you know, in and out of baseball, obviously. But within, you know, with the lockout, yeah, I mean, that's just another, that was just another problem. And um, I don't know. So, yeah, like you said, like the past few years have been kind of difficult, awkward um, with the things that, you know, the peripheral stuff. Um, but kind of alluded to the the importance of the clubhouse. I think that's what like when you have a good clubhouse, guys who care about care about each other. Those are the kinds of issues that you can overcome together. So um, I think we've done a heck of a job, and I think I think honestly, like I think most clubhouses are pretty good, and I think the guys are pretty good. Um, but that's certainly what I found because you're going to run into things like that. You're going to run into social issues. You're going to run into cultural issues. You're going to run into you name it, um, and if you have a good group of dudes that you can you can overcome it together. You can you can deal with it the right way. And you've got one new dude in here with you guys, Sean Murphy. Have you had a chance to work with him already? And what have you guys started to learn about each other? Yeah, so he, uh, I interrupted his stretch the other day because to, to, they're trying to allow me to throw my pen a little bit early. I, I was trying to get back and pick up my daughter from school, and he you know he pulled himself from stretch and he came over and. Um, he caught me in, in the pen, and we talked a little bit. But I mean, I, I sense pretty quickly this is a this is a, a good human being, you know. Um, so I'm I'm excited. I mean, to have those two guys back there, uh, it's just unreal.